to the people outside. Hi, I'm still in lockdown. I'm still here. Um, please come and take me because my family is driving me crazy. I can't stand them. back to my channel i'm lisa and this is gonna be a life in lockdown so far boris johnson decided to put us in lockdown till who knows because first it was end of january then it was february but now people are saying it might be till april and i am enjoying my family's company however sometimes it's a lot for example my brother watching football. I am a football fan. Man United, Red Devils all the way. I've never met such a passionate person until I've stayed in the house with Calvin Kangoyle. The guy shouts like he's at the football stadium. It's a lot. One thing is privacy. I don't think my family knows the word privacy. Here you go. Get out! Oh. Yeah. Whilst you're sitting there doing your YouTube video, I want my team to lock off in Liverpool 3 2 out. Be no beaking. Exhibit A. I just. <laughs> there you go. Your room is not even your own space. It's everyone's space, apparently. Whoa! I love lockdown! One thing about lockdown that's kind of helping me in self love, self care, guys, don't let lockdown affect that because you're gonna forget what you look like. Once lockdown is finished, people are gonna look at you differently and be like, You what? My skin and my hair during this lockdown decided to just turn against me decided to attack me so i've just been trying to work on my hair and my skin i've been using castor oil i've been doing steam into my face because spots just decided to attack me but that's one thing that i'm struggling with in lockdown so if you have any recommendations give me a holler one thing as well is this house is a concert apparently people just like to blast music at this time, I'm going to be quiet and I want you to hear my dad. This is my life. It's a mess. <laughs> would be fun it's not fun it's so hard your girl wakes up 10 minutes before she oh my days if my boss sees this i'm so sorry but you know like i'm actually working really hard as well like i'm not i'm not um i'm not i'm not not doing my job i am doing my job but it's hard because my mom is working from home she's downstairs and i have to call clients and it has to be confidential so i have to stay in this room i don't have a desk which is very frustrating so i'm trying to get a desk and yeah your girl wakes up 10 minutes before her shift starts and is struggle it's a struggle to stay concentrated it's a struggle to give you 100 percent, but i am giving my 100 percent. i'm working on saturdays and sundays because i feel like i'm not working enough so i'm just doing saturdays and sundays just to make my feel, myself feel better so working from home is a struggle i'm starting to become really addicted to my phone i want my phone for like three hmm, i said three hours not even i'm on my phone for half of the day no for the full day i'm on my phone instagram snapchat now tiktok Facebook, just watching videos and just watching stupid things. Going to bed at mad hours because I'm on my phone till mad hours. Lockdown has affected my relationship with my phone. We need to fix that. One thing is my relationship with God. Let's be real. Mm. I haven't really been talking to God. My energy is dying down i don't know why because the days are just getting shorter and i'm so focused on my phone and work i'm losing time with god so that's one thing that i just want to kind of get off my chest and just see what i can do 
to revive that relationship with God and just start again because it's not good it starts to make take a mental effect on you I'm starting to slowly see it affect my mind which is not good and especially your mind in lockdown you're having to stay in this box this room if your mind is not on a hundred percent it's not a good thing try and revive that relationship with God create my mind to be strong again because God knows how long this lockdown is gonna last y'all remember that video when I said I wanted to lose weight <laughs> I said weight has not been lost weight has not been maintained I don't even want to admit that weight has been gained but hey it's the lockdown way it's the lockdown fair what? yes I haven't exercised I bought a skipping rope and I haven't even unpacked yet we've got Sean T I haven't even played Sean T We've got Chloe Ting. Chloe Ting hasn't even been put on my laptop. My laptop is sitting, where is it? It's somewhere, but it hasn't been played. So, lockdown, you're kind of taking an effect on my body because your girl is just eating eggs. Fried eggs has been my best friend. Ah, yum. It's not good. So, yeah, I need to start exercising. Oh man, I thank God for these videos because makes me remember what I look like when I'm cute because lockdown clothes is just not cute, man. My hair isn't done. I'm ashamed to say this, but I'm gonna tell you, but I'm ashamed. I've had this hair since early December. Oh god. Oh my god. This hair has been two months with this hair. And I can't take it out because i just don't want to see my natural hair right now because me and my natural hair are friends yes oh lockdown i need to just get my hair done and i know you lot are saying do your own hair i can't do hair i can't i am blessed with hands these hands these hands are only blessed to sing and when i'm singing to be like like that not to do this they're not blessed to do that so that's a struggle um my eyebrows my eyebrows are a bush okay my eyebrows have never been this bushy in their life and I'm scared to pluck them because I don't trust these hands again sis just needs to get her eyebrows done you lot with your aunties that know how to do your eyebrows you lot are blessed man ah it's hard out here really hard out here damn self-love some positives in lockdown i started this youtube channel which will hopefully grow amen lockdown has brought our family together though they are wild and they are crazy and it's just mad we are coming together as one even though we have our beefs thank god that we have this house because if we had lockdown in our previous house people wouldn't be alive to this day Lockdown is making me save money. Ah, with well, this job that I got, I could have been spending, but lockdown is making me put it in my savings account. Amen. Online shopping is drag. I'm, I'm staying, I'm staying wealthy. But it's about safety. It's just understanding the situation that we're in right now. I had to have my birthday in lockdown. Your girl turned 22, but it was fun because I got to enjoy it with my family with the closest people to me just try and make your lockdowns fun so i'm gonna try and do videos on making lockdown fun that's been my lockdown so far put in your comment section how's your lockdown been what have you been doing are you like me where you've forgotten what you look like cute so you have to take videos to just and then everyone is like why are you wearing makeup in your house i was like girl i just gotta remember what i look like cute <laughs> gosh self-love i tell you what though i might be a hater i'm a hater okay you guys are single so the fact that lockdown is gonna be on february the 14th means that other people ain't gonna be out Ow! <laughs> wait for me with your with your boyfriend all you got is your spouses <laughs> 
Valentine's Day should be spent with spouses, sweetheart, with your with your wife or your husband, not boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy Valentine's Day just as us singles will be enjoying Valentine's Day. I'm about to give myself a day. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm sad. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. I hope this has kind of put a light into your lockdown. And just knowing that I am struggling with you, but it's about safety and just hopefully we will get past this season. This tomb shall pass. So please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.